Okay, so I know this isn't the video that I usually make, but I'm gonna show you how to clean out your bag of vacuum deal. <laughs> now you might wonder, why do you need to do this? Well, I don't really think like emptying a bin is just normal, but actually you have to do more than that. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to clean out the brush hole, how to wash them in thoroughly to make a look better, how to clean the filters, and if you want me to, and for many of purposes, I'll tell you how to replace a belt. And I'll show it to you step by step. Now, I have a few machines here. The way that I clean out my machines, you will need a little machine to do this with. I have this machine mm -hmm. that I can show you how to clean out the brush hole. This one, I'll show you how to clean out the bin and wash the filter on it. And this machine will be cleaned out afterwards. Which, yeah, another machine I have. That's a part of another machine. The uh, rest of it is over there. <laughs> that one's getting cleaned out. <laughs> so all, all these over here will be cleaned out. So I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. <laughs> so let's begin. So the first step is cleaning the filters on your machine. For this process, I'm going to use my Bissell Power Force Helix. The, the newer version for this. Now... This should apply to similar machines. Now, keep in mind that the filter placement is different. <laughs> so, so I'll show you how to feel the machines where the filters are located. So first off, you go on out your bin. Because this machine has a filter and the top pose, you can see it says right here. <laughs> now, what you need to do <laughs> is you need to twist the top piece. Like that. What that does is it unlocks it. And then you can separate them. Now, you might question why do we need to separate them? Well, because it'll make it easier for you to get underneath here. But the part that we want is the filter. So to take the filter off, once this top piece is off, you take this latch, it'll open it like that. And there is your filter right there. Now, first thing you do before you remove it is to take another machine and clean it and vacuum it off. So I'm going to do that off camera for you, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now you can see I vacuumed off the filter. Now, what I do is I need, now we need to vacuum off the sides. As you can see, okay, God, but first you have to take it out first to do the sides. So that's okay. okay. Once you're done with the filter, this should be the result. So we're clean, but not perfect. That's okay, because we're going to wash this. Okay. <laughs> now, the method that I use to wash these isn't really recommended by the manufacturer of the machine. <laughs> but it works every time for me. <laughs> it works really well. <laughs> so, and this is an old method I've been using for years. <laughs> so what I do <laughs> is I rinse it all in the sink first. So, I take it <laughs> over to the sink. <laughs> Over to the sink. <laughs> Those are a few other filters that are need to be cleaned. And I just rinse it out. That now this is actually not recommended by my filter or the machine, but I mean it shouldn't hurt the filter or anything. I toss it into this washing machine here. Not into that one. I only have like a few if I only have like five filters, why would I toss them in here? What else am I put in there? But I toss them in here along with like a few mop heads. Well, I actually have one that needs to be washed. And it's attached to this mop here, I believe, but it needs to be washed, so I'll throw that in there with it. <laughs> I put it in here, put about like three minutes each, take it out, make sure, okay, and I'll pull it right back in. But it's the method I use. So, after that, pull it to the spindle side, attach your auto hose. And then rinse them off. Now, that should be a method you use to rinse them off. Now, no, this isn't like my writing detergent manufacturer, but only for a tiny bit of detergent, tiny bit of fabric softer, like a few of these. These things. Now, this is recommended by me. The reason why is to make the machine smell better. Especially on these secondary photos that are able to be washed. Now, <laughs> Shulk says 
hey, go ahead and wash the outside post-mobile filters on machines. However, I don't recommend that. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. The reason is because if you do that, mm -hmm. it'll take days for it to dry, and plus it might ruin the filter itself. So don't actually do that. Mm -hmm. Only wash the pre-mobile filters. Now, the reason these are is because these have HEPA filters in them. If you wash HEPA filters, you know they ain't gonna last very long afterwards. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know if that was even original, but... <laughs> But I washed it once and it took five months to dry, so... Nice little don't wash out the filters. But... I will show you this part. But I'm not done yet. Next up is to clean the brush hole, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, now clean the brush hole. <laughs> if your machine is like this... This piece is actually to that machine available. <laughs> if you cannot easily remove the brush hole... Then, don't worry. There's still a way we can do this. <laughs> But if you could easily remove the brush roll, I would advise you to do this. Now, the reason this one isn't very easily removable is because you have to literally just assemble her head to get it out, so... In that case, I don't... I don't... take it out. But then what I do is I take a pair of scissors and I just cuddle on here. Here. And... here. And cut off all the hair, as well as on the other side. Here. Here. And on the other side. I know. So that's what I do. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Okay, now this isn't the best I can do on it, but as you can see, it is somewhat like dolly still. I mostly clean out most of them. This is a no. Now this took me forever to do. Like it took me a long time to do. Usually it doesn't take me a long. But this wasn't mine originally. That's why I wanted to tell you. So this particular back in what I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm gonna put the Made Pope back on it. And just run it for a minute. Let it get some of that stuff out a little. With the clean brush roll and I think will really appreciate it. And then I'll put the... Then I'll take the head back off a little and see what it's like. So we go to probably be running it. So that way you can hear it. Alright, now I'm gonna run this for about like 30 seconds to a minute. No, I have it plugged in. <laughs> and I put the filters back into it. I didn't necessarily... Uh, Clean the filters yet, but I just put them back in there. Now, don't worry, I didn't wash them yet. So I'm gonna turn this on, and you'll go here. And I'll run the brush hole too. You feel that? That's what's inside the bin. <laughs> now, you hear it, it kind of cleaned up the brush a little bit. <laughs> but that's what's inside the bin now, so I'm going to have to clean that out. <laughs> but at least the motor is still working, and it kind of cleaned up in here too, so. <laughs> and it sounds a lot better than it did before, so. But it still smells, and the bin is still doing as well as the filters, so. I'm gonna get that corrected. Now, this is what we call the uh, pre rinse. So, what I do is I take these filters, I rinse them out in the sink. Now, this isn't the washing machine time yet. Mm -hmm. So, I just rinse them out with the sink. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna do that really quickly and then I'll come back to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I pre rinse them. Mm -hmm. Now, at this point, I say it's okay to break the manufacturer's walls and stick them in a the washing machine here. Mm -hmm. I've done this multiple times, with no problems. Now, worried about destroying it? Well, the manufacturer does have replacements for each of these, but it's okay. I'm gonna show them though. I'm gonna show you they're gonna survive. Now, see all these stains here? With the washing machine, it should help remove them. And then the machine should perform better. So I'm gonna show you the directions I use to clean these. So first off, you see this pre-spot stuff right here? Yeah, put them onto the stains themselves. Let's put it all over the place. Mm -hmm. Then, I'm just going to show you the shark one here. 
Why it like this? Into a filter like this. Now, that's it now. And then what I'm gonna do, toss it into the washing machine. Now, it is okay, mate, though. Now, I say it's okay, completely okay to do this, because this is a method I've used in the past. No problems in the past. So let me do all these, and then I'll fill it up and show you what to do. Okay. So for this, I work about that low, I work stuff about low detergent, and I may go uh, here. So now, I stick them all in at the same time. Now, I know the washing machine manufacturers say, hey, fabric stuff for the goes in the rinse. Well, I say no, and I stick it in with the wash side. And that makes them smell good. All right. Now, settings on this. I know it's different. I'll explain that later. But what you do is soft side out of here for three minutes. Now, I didn't plug it in yet. I'm just doing that as an example. I'm going to plug it in now, and then I'll turn it on and show you. Okay, so now that I got it plugged in, I want you to have a little listen. Now I'm going to let this finish, and then I'll come back and tell you what to do. Okay, while I'm waiting for that, let me show you the steps on how to replace a belt in your vacuum. So let's do this. Okay, so most of my girls are like this on heel. I mean, like a few screws, and then the brush hole that comes out. So I have a screw heel, 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 and heel. Take those all out, then I'll come back. Okay, now that I have all the screws out, you need to figure out how this piece comes off. The saw plate piece. Now, some of them, you have to like, lift up at the bottom, it has clips up here. This one, some of them, you have to like lift up this way and then pull out. <laughs> now this one, just should slide out like this. Okay. Now I do not have the belt on the spindle because I took this off previously, but it will be down now. Now what you would do, is you take the brushel out and then try and feed it through heel. This one doesn't actually really need a new belt at this time. I will eventually replace it, but I need to get to it because I need to clean that and this. Okay, let's do the filters. Okay, now that the filters are done washing, <laughs> let's see what we have. So I'm not in there. Now, I am going to run this for another three minutes because they seem kind of dirty previously. Let's do that. I just want it in three minute intervals to see what would happen to make sure it doesn't get destroyed. So that's why I thought all three minutes. Okay, well, that's really good. I'm going to show you how clean this part. Now, I don't necessarily move it, so really the best way to do it is clock shapes, as I, in my opinion. So you need to do is you need to like, just go out here. I'll more thoroughly clean it later on and so good to the area, make sure you get all the dust out and, and like. Go down here, and then off camera I'll do this battle, but go on this area and you'll eventually get all the dot, dot off. Let me do this off camera a little bit. Sorry to interrupt about the filters, but they have been done again. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain this out. So I'm gonna drain it out. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna refill this side. And then I'm gonna put the thing back in there. With the charger and stuff, let it run for three minutes, and then, and then I'll let it soak for thirty minutes or so. That's my usual plan that I always do with this. Oh, and I forgot, I'm gonna spin them out once before that. <laughs> so, I'll let them soak for thirty minutes afterwards. You don't need to see me refill it again. It's basically the same thing. Now the first spin really doesn't need that long. Too much. This is usually my place around it. I'll spin, but yeah, we'll have to see what happens next. Now, for the second wash, that's about all you need.
because what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the middle, wash them for about 30 seconds, then stop it. And I'm still going to use that stuff, so don't worry. Okay, so now I'm back in there, so put this on stuff for about there, which is about like a minute or so. And then I'll just leave it be for like 30 minutes, let them soak for that long, and then I'll put it to another three minute wash afterwards. So, okay. Just a little bit longer that. Okay. I'll go back in a little. Oh, wait. Now, with the final rinse, I do it differently. So, this is the final rinse, not the wash. I put the hose here, then put that there, <laughs> hook it up. And then I turn it on. I'm just going to do it a little bit here. <laughs> Alright, now what I usually do is I just throw things in the well and then I, I start it. Now, then I, I mean, for the rinse, I put that there and I hook it up there and I turn it on and I leave it out for like a minute. Like, somewhat high power and it like throws the water in there and it like, while it's spinning it throws the water onto them and it rinses them. Pretty good, uh, pretty nice idea. Let's see what full size washing machine's done too, so. Hold on, let me just pull this out. Because as you know, it shakes around and it starts and stops. Let's see it now. Anyway, next scene will be belt changing. Put it back in. But first, I have to clean out all the parts because that's the reason why I took them out. Oh, I almost forgot. One, so, I'll just spin side, set them somewhere to dry overnight. Now, I recommend doing it for two nights because. Let it all dry more thoroughly. But what I need to do is I'm gonna flip it around tomorrow and let it dry overnight on the other side. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll vacuum it back up. Okay. Okay, now we can get to belt replacement. Okay, now back on to brush and belt reinstallation. So you see this here? You see a belt? What you wanna do is you wanna put this into here now. What you want to do next is you want to lie up like this. Have a way to a virtual watch like this. And push it in on both sides. Hold on. Right, now that brush is back and what we just have to, to do is either we could do it like this where we put it onto the spindle or the recommended way is I'll show you next. Now this is the recommended way. Belt is already on the spindle. Now time to just put the things back into them. I mainly did that last part to show you what way it goes in. Okay now that it's in you just have to spin it a few times to make sure everything's all good. Now, when we're installing the bottom plate, the sole plate, you gotta make sure this is up like that. Mm -hmm. Then, on this one, you just have to slide it back in, and then we screw it. Alright. Now, just put the six screws back in, and you should be good. Okay, now that the bow plate's back on, next step is to roll the clock, swipe through the entire cord. Let's see what we can remove. You, all this was for the cord alone. <laughs> now the next step is to try find any twists and ties in the cord, and then remove those. And then we can wrap it back up. But not quite yet, as we still have to wipe up down the outside before we do the bin. Okay, now it's time to wipe down the outside. So. Now, to do this, I recommend you put the machine flat. So I'll do that. So, try pull it as flat as possible. I'm going to do that. Now it's flat. I'm going to start at the bottom. Is this area is somewhat dirty on this machine. And then work your way up to the top. 
I'll come back. Okay, now that we clean, well, I wiped out the outside so it looks really clean, we have Pout. <laughs> now, I know you're saying, hey, we want the vacuum itself. Well, <laughs> this is how you're supposed to clean it. You're supposed to take the wand off, the hose off, the bed off, the filter covers off, cord off as we went through the cord. <laughs> so let me make this back into the vacuum again. I'm not putting the bed back on or the filter cage because that stuff still needs to be cleaned. So I'll put it back together the rest of the way and wrap up in the cord without having the bed or the filter cage. No, probably saying, oh yeah, hey, this looks probably going to go. Uh, let me even just hide back at the high side. But... <laughs> so much cleaner it was now versus before. Yeah. <laughs> but I still need to wait for the filter to dry and I still need to do the bed. So we'll do that later. Now I tried clog stripes on that don't double spin it. It's just way too dirty. So you know what that means? It's time for the water wash. <laughs> I'll do this off camera, don't worry. You don't have to see me do this process. Alright. Now the parts are dried with the filters. Alright. So this is the filter to this machine here. <laughs> the uh pulse model filter that is. Now you might question what am I doing with it? We're just gonna stick right back in there. <laughs> Not yet. And there's a reason why. Because that's where this stuff comes in. <laughs> now, what I do, and I pull these out sometimes, just spray them with it, is I put this onto a hangle, <laughs> and then I point this at it, then spray it at it, and it'll make it smell really nice. Here, let me show you. All right, so you have the filter. Now I just have to spray this at it. Yeah. Now the yellow side. Keep on. This will help with the smell. Okay, now at this point, I recommend you let it sit for a, little, a few minutes. I'm going to let it sit for another while before I put it back in. Now, my question, what's the whole point of doing this? Well, the whole point of doing this is it'll help with the smell. It'll make it smell nice while you're using the machine. So, for example, I want to be vacuuming and it will smell bad. Well, not everyone's going to want that. But if I was vacuuming it, it smelled nice, that would help for sure. This is just something that I do whenever I clean out my machines. And everyone appreciates the smell of them. It makes them smell so good. Especially if I'm selling the machine later on. And I clean it up beforehand. And then, and then like, this all happens. The machine, everyone that buys it appreciates them. Like, they'll smell. And they wonder, like, what I do to them to cause that. Well, that's, that is a really simple process that you can use to make your machine smell better. So, that's just one thing I had to say to you about for me is idiovacuum filters.